Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I have a bottle of port. No, I don't have a bottle of port here. <sighs> Slapped wrist all round. I have a bottle of KWV Cape Tawny. I can't call it port because uh, it's made in the same way that they make port, but uh, it's not made in Portugal. So uh, hence the name uh, Cape Tawny. Um, and um, I don't know how old this is, uh, but uh, I know it's, it's hopefully going to be a rich and flavorful dessert wine with dried fruit flavors. Let's see if I can get uh, a little bit more um, substance on those uh, small bones. Well, I stick my nose in there and I could almost feel, feel like if I sniffed it long enough, I would anaesthetize myself. There is a very, there is a spirity grip coming out of it. It feels like it's going to be warm, heady um, with this, it's a dried fruit flavours. I would um, enlarge on that and say things like, it's, it's more that figgy, um, yeah, a bit of plum in there, fresher plum, and then um, dried figs and a bit of dates. Uh, and maybe even a little nutty character, but there is this spirity intensity. And um, when you're making fortified wine, you start making a regular wine, and then you stop it at some point by fortifying with brandy. The yeast all goes, oh, I've had enough now, let's stop. Uh, so the earlier you add the brandy, the more brandy there will be in the wine, so the more alcohol you will notice. Uh, and also, uh, the earlier you add it, the less... Um, the sugar will have fermented, so there'll be greater sweetness in the base wine. It feels like this is a slightly early fortified style, uh, but um, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let's have a see. Nice, warm, welcoming. Uh, yeah, one of those that you can, you can feel it at the back of your throat, sort of going... purring and going... I have a little bit of a tiger-like character about me. Not hugely complex, uh, but I like that... Uh, I like the way in which, um, yes, it has, it's got that edge of fire, but it's not too much. And it's mellowed nicely in the barrel. Don't know how long it's been in barrel, but it's picked up. It starts off as a, actually, I'm not sure what, what colour when, when you've got Cape Tawny. Because uh, um, uh, they, they make a lot of fortified wines in, uh, in, in South Africa. Nowhere near as much as they used to do, um, where it used to be the style. But... Um, and I'm not quite sure what uh, what they've been using to uh, uh, to produce it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's stuff like uh, Sanso and uh, uh, maybe some Grenache, maybe some Pinotage. Uh, but I'll see if I can find out. There'll be a link somewhere uh, that uh, gives uh, uh, lets you find out all I've been able to find out. Uh, but as it is, um, it's not bad at all, and it's not port. It's Cape Tawny. See you soon.